What's happening guys? This year I got something a little bit special for you. Instead of one torture test, I'm doing six for the iPhone 6. Now this should give you a good indication of what I'm doing, but a little FYI for you guys, if any one of these phones ends up surviving one of the torture tests, which I think two of them might, I'm gonna give it away on my fullmag.com email list. So make sure you go sign up for that. So there's gonna be not one, but six days of torture tests right here on Rated R. So make sure you hit subscribe and uh, let's get started with the liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Ready? Still working. Still working. Okay, it's not working anymore. <laughs> so, it's still bubbling inside here, so you gotta watch yourself. There's still some liquid nitrogen in. I've torture tested in the past. This one's definitely held up the best. Uh, I guess liquid nitrogen isn't nearly as bad as a 50 cal, but they still got the SIM card the chip, the A8 chip and everything's still intact there, which is kind of cool. And something I've never seen before is this little Apple uh, insert right here, which is normally, I guess, glued or something in there. I don't know, but um, I've never had one so intact before to check out. So it still has a lot of the internal components there. And you got, of course, the the larger capacity battery, which is smoking right now. Um, everything else, hmm, wouldn't say it's underwhelming. Can't wait to check out the, uh, the Rated R slow-mo playback on that and see how the, the ice and the glass and everything broke on it, but pretty cool. So stay tuned, five more torture tests coming up in the next five days, and um, not sure what we'll do for tomorrow.